Hello, in this video we'll be going over how to monitor EF series performance using Centricity System Manager. Reasons to use EF series are that it's fast, driving business value while reducing cost with performance optimized IOPS and throughput. EF series is simple with best in class solutions for integrated appliances, appliance plugins, APIs, and secure web based management. EF series is also reliable with 6.9 reliability and successful deployments in many of the world's most demanding environments. EF series offers benefits in the form of increased performance, disk management and monitoring through Centricity System Manager, and the lowest price point entry level systems with the EF280 and E2800. Monitoring capabilities of the EF series can be considered on three separate layers. The logical layer consisting of our volumes and their corresponding volume groups or pools, the physical layer consisting of our controllers, drives, and HPAs, and lastly our applications and workloads. This allows us to be as specific or broad as we'd like when viewing critical performance data relating to IOPS, latency, or throughput, which we'll go over in the following demo. From Centricity System Manager, we can follow the View Performance Details button to get more insights into the performance of our array. From the Logical View tab, we can further specify either which elements we'd like to compare on the left panel, and we'll select our SQL Server OLTP and DW volume groups. Graph insights are denoted by the color-coded legend on the right side of each graph. Selecting the Physical View tab shows a similar view instead allowing us to expand and select from our attached controllers, HBAs, and drives. The Applications and Workloads view allows us to get the performance data for our previously created SQL Server OLTP and DW workloads, which we can check off and continue to view by selecting Refresh Graphs. As with the logical and physical views, we can compare our latency and IOPS graphs using units selected from the drop-down menu, and further explanation of each graph is located on the legend to the right. If we wanted to compare performance of specific volumes from our two workloads, we could expand on those. Refreshing the graph shows our selected OLTP log volumes live read and write values and a table view is also available to get more specific values that are available to export in the CSV file format. In summary, we've shown that EF series is more than capable for high performance, enterprise grade workloads, and that monitoring capabilities through Centricity System Manager makes it easy to view logical, physical, and application level workloads to get insight on how to best utilize and control your storage. Thank you for watching. For more info, be sure to subscribe for more coming videos.